hi this video is based on one of my youtube comments so the user asking uh, here is there is a sharepoint list and there are columns uh, called day uh, which can which uh, contains sunday monday tuesday wednesday all the way up to saturday so there are seven columns in total and when a row is created user wants to set the date automatically so for the demonstration purpose i created a list called shift and um, here I have got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So the plan is if I'm going to run my flow today, then Monday should set, uh, set it as today's date, then Tuesday 11th and 12th and so and so. Okay. So I'm going to delete this record now. Okay. Let's go back to the flow now. And uh, my trigger I set here as when an item is created, setting the uh, the site address and the list name. The next is the update item. Again, set the site address. List is called shift and the ID we want. So that's the ID coming from the trigger. So in Power Automate, always we need an update. Whenever we do an update, we need an ID and this ID is generated from SharePoint as an auto incremented ID this is this is called key always uh, you know we need that so the next thing I'm, I need to do here is I need to map the columns okay so the title I'm going to map the title as when an item is created so as I mentioned earlier, so whenever a record is created, that's the day you need to make that day as today's date. So suppose this record is getting on a Sunday, you need to set that as today's date. So today is Monday, so I'm going to set Monday as today's date as UTC now. Okay. So for Tuesday, what we need to do here is we need to use the another expression called add days. UTC now comma one. That's what we want. So basically we, we are incrementing from today's day to another one more day. So use the same expression with, with a small change. That's what we need for the Wednesday's date. So click on expression and set two here. And that goes all the way up to Saturday then. Uh, sorry Sunday then yeah so remember if it's if you're running this uh, if you're creating this record on a Sunday make sure uh, you know you can set the UTC now on Sunday then add days incremented by one each then for rest of the days so it's all depends on which day you're going to run so suppose you are going to run this on a scheduled trigger on a Sunday every week when a record is created on a Sunday then you need to set UTC now against the Sunday. Okay, so I'm going to run this flow and um, check the results now. So for that, I need to go and create a record. So I'm going to the SharePoint list. Okay, just, oops, I need to log in again. Right, click on new and um, the title I'm going to say shift one, save the record. So hopefully that should trigger my flow and set these dates correctly in relevant columns. Okay, you can see here flow ran successfully and it sets the date. So let's go back to flow, uh, sorry, the SharePoint, refresh the list. Here it is. So today is 10th, then Tuesday, then Wednesday. So remember the first date you need to you need to set as UTC now based on the day you want to run the flow. Okay. And rest of the days you need to set with add days incrementing with one. So if you set add days with minus one means it goes back also. Okay. So add days, uh, you need to be, uh, you know, a numeric number it recurs with a date. So here the today's date is UTC now comma one. That means it's, you know, takes um, the date forward actually. If you want to go backwards, you need to put minus one. 
hope this video is useful thank you for watching